In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create circle photos just like this and this with PicMonkey. PicMonkey is a free web-based photo editor and some people like to think of it as kind of a mesh between Instagram and Photoshop. Now, I love using Instagram and I have so many different apps I use for Instagram. My husband is an expert at Photoshop. So it's kind of marrying the two together. If I want something quick that I need done, I will just run over to PicMonkey. Now this first photo here that you see is actually part of one of my newsletter campaigns and I always include my picture at the bottom. And it just looks nicer when it's cropped here in the circular frame. This other one is actually here on Twitter. Now you'll see it here in the frame, uh, yet if you actually look down, let me go ahead and enlarge this where you can see it. So you'll see some that have the square frames, but you'll stand out a little bit more when you have the circular frame. And again, this is just something quick and easy that you can use to separate yourself from your market, not your competition, your market. So what you'll wanna do is go over to PicMonkey and go to edit. And then I'm actually gonna add my file from my computer, but you can use Dropbox, Facebook. Actually, this isn't Dropbox. I'm gonna take the picture that I'm currently using. It's my profile pic that I have across the internet. Now, depending on how much you want from this frame, you can actually crop it. Uh, because I like the size of this picture, I am not going to do that. So what I'm going to show you is actually that you can actually go down here to frames. Once you choose the frames, you're going to go up to rounded corners. And as you can see, there's a little bit, but you know what? I need a lot more. So I'm going to take it all the way up to 250. I'm going to apply transparent corners because I don't want the white background to actually show. So it's going to actually export as a PNG file. Uh, if not, you're gonna actually get the white corner. So go ahead and do transparent corners and you're gonna wanna apply that and you're actually going to be able to save and export it out. It's that simple. You have now created your own circular picture. So again, you can use it in your newsletters, on your Twitter, and if you're an author, always include it in your eBooks. I will see you in the next video.